Amazing question, sir. Amazing question. Um, it shows that you care about others and <clears throat> that you are really trying and that your heart is postured towards us. Good. By example, what I used to do, um, <clears throat> there are times when you won't have the Bible with you. <clears throat> As far as you may not be carrying a Bible or have one in your backpack. And I may not lead you to confirm with a direct statement through the scripture that says, donate your clothes. <clears throat> During the war, what I would do is I would leave it on the sidewalk or something for um, homeless people. A lot of times what I uh, learned being homeless myself, cleaner clothes or something new gives you a little moment of joy. There's uh, different places people go to to receive um, clothing when they don't have the uh, thought process of using the money that they do have towards clothes, but using it towards something else. So I used to always start there whenever the Holy Spirit would let me um, get new clothes. So by rule of thumb, what I always taught myself was I'll keep you in perfect peace with the clothes and things that you have until I give you the means, the means, the means to replace them. Once I give you the means to replace them, then I'm going to expect you to just trust me and let go of certain things, let go of certain things, let go of certain things. Depending on the amount of darkness it was in, and I'll start there. If it was around uh, any type of regularly used substances that produced a large amount of demons around it, and I just trash it. Because you don't want somebody else to inherit what's on those things. Just like I don't want you to have those things around you. So you're not really helping anybody by giving it to them. <clears throat> if they already are in a position where it's not going to affect them either way because they uh, spiritually match what's on those objects I'm sure you understand perfect question I love you good job well done you're doing good <clears throat>